so you want to learn how to create these intense hits that are often used in a lot of rap music videos well i'm about to break down how i created these effects inside of premiere pro quick and easy step by step but real quick before we get into that i just want to let you guys know if you're a music video editor i got all of my personal presets linked in the description before we get into the tutorial so you can go and check it out for yourself but let's get right into it so i'm in premiere pro right now and i got this little baby music video with future and basically what i'll be doing is just create a new adjustment layer and i'll just drag on this adjustment layer to my timeline and then i'll be cutting it for my few different clips that i got and to create these type of hits the first thing that i do is add a transform effect because if we want motion better on our clips then we're going to use the transform effect and not just these motion effects the first thing that i'll do is drag up the shutter angle to 180. these type of effects are often just in the end of our clips so i'll go like five six frames before the end of the clip and i'll keep in the scale and the position then I'll go all the way to the end and here for the last frame I'll be dragging up the scale to like 150 and then basically to create these type of hits you go like either one or two frames in then you just drag it to the side like that and then we go one or two frames in again then we just move the position once again but don't get them out of frame keep doing this but don't overdo it because that will just look way too much so just do some subtle movements to the sides and up and down keep going like that until we're at the end and i'll actually just do every other frame like this and if you decide to do every other frame you can actually do bigger movements like this and now i got this going on and it really looks like a like they just shake the camera and a lot of people like to spice this up with a flash so you can use an but yeah we're good and to get that flash effect we can simply use a brightness and contrast effect just drag it onto the adjustment layer and just go to the frames where you have this movement going on just to keyframe the brightness then drag it up for one frame and for the next one drag it down but not way too much don't overdo it just create this flash effect going on yeah i'll do it like that and see what we get and that's basically how you create the effect and now if you don't want to do this like 50 times to get 50 different presets i got my own preset pack i got this essential hits and movements to have all of these hits with and without flash so it's 50 presets in total and for the after effects version it's 100 presets in total so basically how to use this preset pack is you just pick one of these presets I'm, since I did a zoom hit for this scene, I'm going to do a zoom out for the next scene at the beginning. You just check the preset, it says 8 frames. Then you count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and then cut your adjustment layer right there. Then simply just drag on this zoom out with flash. Now you got that hit, like finished, easy as that. You didn't need to do anything else. And that's basically how all of my preset pack works. Now right here I want to do a horizontal hit because I don't just got these end hits, I got like horizontal hits, vertical hits, transitions, everything like that. And I'm going to use one of these vertical hits right now without flash in the middle of the scene. So I'll drag on this vertical hit that's 10 frames long. And simple as that, I have a hit in the middle of my scene. You can do these like on beats to match the song. Like it goes really crazy when you do that. And the best thing about these presets is that they don't require any paid plugins at all. But yeah, I'll keep going with these effects. I'll just drag this one out here so I can have a transition between my clips. Where the fuck do these legs go? Um, okay, yeah, I'll keep going. So now I'll just use a fast shake in between here. So I'll just drag on this fast shake too that is six frames long. Drag it onto my adjustment layer. So it's just one of these simple hits. It's like a shake. So I'll just drag on my adjustment layer once again and cut it to 10 frames long one two three four five six seven eight nine ten right there then drag on this zoom hit two and it looks like that without flash and then i can actually drag on a new adjustment layer right here and then go one two three four five six seven eight ten like that and i'll do a horizontal hit as you can see we got this horizontal blur for this one so it will look good with a horizontal hit and i'll use a flash this time so all i gotta do is just horizontal hit one with flash and that's cool i'm happy with that and that's basically how the pack works like super simple like really easy it doesn't get easier than this when you're editing like these run and gun rap videos 
If you're interested, I'll have a link in the description and you can use code 10 off or 10% off on your first purchase. If you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And thank you so much if you watched this far, but I'll see you guys in the next one.